Hello everyone. Today I'm going to go through some of the basics of using YouTube Movie Maker. This is software that does have a free edition and that's why I started using it. They also have a gold and platinum edition. The biggest difference between free versus gold versus platinum is that with free you can only output a video up to five minutes in length. With gold you can go up to ten minutes and with platinum you can do any length of video that you want. There's some other differences and their website shows you all of the product differences between free, gold, and platinum. But those are the main differences. That's what you'll find right off the bat. So free only allows you to go up to five minutes. It also only allows standard definition. So if you want longer videos or higher quality, move up to gold and then there's also platinum. But I'm going to show you just some of the basics of how to use this software. I found it's pretty easy to use, pretty user friendly. I'm going to make just a very simple uh, video where I put together some, some videos as well as some images. And so I'm going to first go up here to this big red plus sign in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to choose add video. I'm going to bring some video files in that I can work with. And so I have some things saved on the desktop. And I'm just going to go into the file. I'm going to grab a few of these videos and just like with any other type of software you can use control and click or shift and click and add more than one and so it's going to load in three videos that I've selected. Now I can grab those and drag them to the timeline so you can see the video file. Now I have this video that I can work with. If I wanted to just simply line these up one after another I could just pull them one right after another onto the video file. It's click, just drop and drag, drag it down onto the file, and it's just going to line them all up. If I wanted to do something very simple, like say put in a transition in between those, I can go to effect, go to transition effect, I can do a selected item, so whatever item I'm selected on, or I can do random set. So if I do random set transition effect video line and select that, it's just added a random transition in between every one of my videos. And so that could be a fade, it could be a wipe, it could be a starburst, it could be a heart that changes in between. That's something nice to use if you don't really care too much what the transition is and you just want to put something in place. So if you're doing a series of home videos or a series of pictures or something like that, that's a good option. You can also go in and do um, specifics. So if you do selected item, so I've selected one of my videos on the timeline, I can go in and choose exactly the one that I want. I'm going to do, you know, a flip or an explosion or a cube spin. And so now it's going to give that particular type of transition. Okay, now if I want to add, let's say I want to add some images, just go up to that red plus sign again, add image. So I'll go in, I'm going to pull in, uh, I'll pull in this slate. So what I've done in this case is I've made a slate ahead of time. I usually make, um, you know, the, the front and end slates in Photoshop, and so I'll pull that open. You basically just click and drag it. Again, click and drag it onto the video line. You can also click and pull to the right or left for how long you want that to be. So you can see I'm at about 11 seconds now. The little box up in the blue area will show me how long it is. Now I'm at 13 seconds. So if I want 15 seconds, put it right there. That's pretty long for an intro slate. Typically, you want to be able to read the text one and a half times. So I'm going to shorten that up a little bit. I'll take it back down. All right. And I'm just going to do that effect that is the random uh, transition effect. So I'm going to go transition effect, video line. Actually, sorry, I'm going to go effect, random set transition effect, video line. So each time I add something new, 
I go ahead and do that so that it adds it to the item that I just put in place. You can also just wait, obviously, until the very end to do all of your transitions, and then it will put them into place. All right, so now I have my slate in the front. The slate size that I use, I'll go ahead and show you. So this is now in Photoshop where I created this image initially. If I go to image size, I make my slates at a size of 5960 by 3440 at a resolution of 72 pixels. So it's 5960 pixels wide and the height is 3440 pixels. And then I just save this and I'll, you know, just change the text every time. So it's something easy to put at the beginning of your videos. This could just as easily say, you know, our family vacation 2017 or whatever the case may be. I'm going to go ahead and add, you know, a few more images. So if I add another image, I'll grab this one. And then you can throw it right anywhere that you want. Again, I'm just placing it within the timeline and I'm gonna you know give it a few seconds there I'm gonna go down on the timeline a little bit further anywhere where you see these marks that's an indicator of a transition effect in between videos or in between images so for my purposes I'm just adding a couple of images in between videos so this is just very simple video editing. Click and drag, put it right in there. Okay? And again, it's just a click and drag as far as how long I want that to be. Go back to the effect, random set transition effect, video line. And you can see that it's pulling in the transition for each one. If you're trying to time up the audio with the video, you do want to kind of add those transitions in because they will take a little bit of the time away. So let's say you're trying to be really precise in how you're adding your video and syncing it up with your audio. If you do all of that hard work and you get everything synced out exactly the way you want it, and then you go back in and add your transitions, it's going to make all of it off a little bit because it's taking a little bit of the video away as it's adding in the transition. It takes a couple of seconds off of the beginning and a couple of seconds off of the end to pull that transition and put that transition in the middle. Now you also will see audio, so you have lines for audio. And if you just kind of look along your timeline, you can see the different options that you have. Overlay, so if I wanted to add another image I could drop in an image as an overlay so instead of placing it within the timeline and pushing everything back I could put it on top of this so you know this is a nice thing for watermarks or something like that if you want to add like a little subscribe button so you can do things like that in YouTube too of course but this is if you wanted to add it to the actual video you can put an overlay on it you have your audio files right here for this one in particular I'm not going to do any audio files. I'm just going to add that in YouTube. But this is the place where you would just go up to your plus sign, add audio, put that in here, it imports it, and just drag it to this line. And then you can click and drag it, move it around, put it wherever you want on the timeline. You can add text here as well. So again, it's all pretty straightforward. You go to the uh, point in time on the timeline that you want, you double click and you add in text on those lines. And you can do, you know, multiple lines of text. You can add motion so that it kind of flies in on the screen and that sort of thing. So this is a pretty robust video uh, editing piece of software and it's all pretty easy, you know. So I do recommend it. Um, just be mindful of what I mentioned in the beginning where there are different versions and you know you don't want to invest a whole lot of time on the free version and then have it um, not serve your needs so if you do a movie that's 15 minutes long and you go to export it out of the free version you can't you know basically at that point you're gonna to have to buy the other version uh, because the free version only supports the up to five minutes long so once you have your video ready you can go to preview 
so you can preview from the beginning and it's basically going to show you your movie and include all of the transitions that you have in place and so this one is just going to show all of the videos that I have in place now you could hear that this has a little bit of audio in it that's just kind of background audio if you wanted to take that out then you could go in on the video line I'm going to do that really quickly you can go in on the video line highlight it and just right click you get a lot of options when you right click so that's kind of an easy thing to do you can go into audio and you can disable it right there you can also fade in and out on the audio you can set the volume you can set the volume just by that piece of video content or for the entire line if you wanted to have the same amount of volume if you go to publish once you're ready you can publish this uh, it's going to show you the type so right now it's defaulted to an mp4 um, you can go in and change the settings if you wanted so settings are up here go into the settings and you can change the format um, you know there, there are quite a few different um, features in here and, and different settings in here so of course you're basically messing around with the quality um, if you want it to be SD or HD how large you want it to be and so that's where the settings are located and you can you can mess around with that you can publish directly to YouTube I will typically just publish to local which means it's just gonna publish to my computer uh, and then I'll upload it to YouTube but you can uh, go directly to YouTube if you prefer but the preview is kinda what it is gonna show you um, so you can really get a good feel for how everything looks and how the transitions are working so I'll just do that from the current frame show a little bit more of this video and there was the the preview and you can see how it is a little bit jumpy when you go from a video to an image especially if you have that background noise and so this is where uh, it's helpful to just drop a full line of music audio in the background either Hello, in this guy. software or you can do it through YouTube so for this one I'm going to do it on YouTube I'll go ahead and pause this so again I can go in I'll exit out of this I can go in and just remove that audio so I'll go in and disable the audio and you can see the little indicator now shows the speaker with a line through it so I know that that's gone at this point point. and now if I preview the movie again from the current frame that audio should be removed which it is so it's always good to preview it sometimes you'll forget little things like that you can also um, of course edit the video so if you go in um, you know you can edit a particular piece of video and if I edit this piece um, you can either remove it entirely you know remove it from uh, this piece you can go in and edit in this section up here so if I go in and I'll add video again um, I'll grab a different piece of video if I double click on it I can edit it up here so if I click on edit this is kind of short piece of video it's going to give me some different choices for what I can edit within the video. Let's see, I need to actually be on the video. Excuse me. So if I choose cut selected item, so a little bit of a roundabout way there, but um, cut selected item usually what I will do is keep below parts so what you do is you set your start so let's say I want to remove you know just the beginning of this video I can click and move that in set that as my start you can see it also tells you up at the beginning where the start is and now I'm going to set the end so if I pull it out there set as end okay so it's showing me it's gonna start at about 11 seconds and then it's gonna end at about 112 okay hit okay 
and you can see that it changes, it collapses that timeline. And so now I've essentially removed that little piece. I removed the beginning and the end. Now if I want to, you know, do anything further with that, I can I can do it again. Let's say I want to take out Thomas completely from that shot. I highlight it, I go to edit, and I go to cut select item. This is my beginning. So I'm going to take Thomas out of there. Okay. You can see how the video changes. I'm going to drag it to where there's no more Thomas. I'm going to set as start. Okay. Now I've just trimmed that video. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use. And then again, whenever I'm ready, just do the preview and publish to local or publish directly to YouTube. That's a quick overview um, for this YouTube Movie Maker. Again, I would say, you know, an easy thing to do is to right-click. You find a lot of different features when you right-click. And then you also have this group of icons right here. Edit. Effect. So once you've clicked on something, you get a lot more options. And then you also have the settings on the right. I know for me, it took a little while for me to kind of get used to where all of the icons are on this page. Um, but those are kind of your basics. Right click, cut selected item will allow you to go in and trim the, the audio and the video as you need. And then uh, you'll see the, the settings on the right. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped.